Hey Dimes, it's Diamond and today I am here to do like a different kind of video for y'all. Basically, I'm going to be doing something that I don't really do and that I never really do, but we finna get into it. I'm going to be addressing assumptions about myself. So yeah, before I do that, make sure you guys click the link in my description box if you wanna try a cold this water bottle. I'm finna be serving y'all some very hot tea. So if y'all want to keep the tea hot, make sure you get a coldest water bottle. This keeps your drinks, whatever temperature they are, cold or hot, it keeps your drinks that temperature for super duper long. I love this. So Yeah, so basically I've been posting on Instagram and I posted on my YouTube channel that I'm doing an assumptions video so that you guys could send assumptions that you had about me. <laughs> Y'all was really like being around a bush until today and like a yesterday. So it's just really funny to me. But yeah. Um, thank you to everybody that sent me assumptions. Even if you assume some of this stuff about me yourself, like it's totally fine. Like honestly, yeah, I'm I'm gonna address it now. And basically, you could either accept what my answer is or not. Um, I really feel like I shouldn't really have to say this, but y'all know me, like, I put stuff out there, and if I don't want to speak on something, I simply won't, but there's never really been a time that I've just sat in front of y'all and lied about something, so just keep that in mind. A lot of y'all fuck with me because y'all say I'm real, so once I answer these things, if you choose not to believe what my answer is, then just know, like, that's your personal issue because... If I wasn't gonna tell the truth, I simply would not say nothing about it. And y'all know that to be true because it's a bunch of stuff that I choose not to talk about all the time. So I'm actually excited, of course, cause I done read most of these already. So it's actually pretty like funny to me. Like the things that you guys assume about me, it's pretty funny. I've been waiting to do this video. I was gonna do it tomorrow, but bump that we finna get into it so stripper people assume i'm a stripper you're a stripper i assume you're a stripper no offense it's cool if you are let's get to the stripper thing uh i feel like i have actually said a lot of times that i'm not a stripper but i really don't think that that's the answer that people want to accept or maybe there's just the fair amount of people that really have never heard me say i'm not a stripper so no, I am not a stripper. Um, I believe people believe that I'm a stripper based on the fact that I like to dance and I know how to twerk. Um, but the two really don't go hand in hand. Just because I like twerking and dancing, it doesn't mean that I have to be a stripper. Could I be a stripper? Yes, I definitely could. And to me, a stripper is somebody that like you have to go get cards you go and audition for clubs and you work for clubs and people throw you money i don't think that that's the same as if i go to a party and i dance and somebody throws ones at me i don't think that it's the same thing so yeah uh, it's just something it's just not something that i care to pursue honestly not that i couldn't be a stripper or that i haven't had the opportunity to go to a club every day and dance i definitely have but it's just not something that i chose to pursue like i have other things that i want to do and right now as of right now going to a club and dancing is just not one of them but i have no problem with strippers i have a lot of stripper friends next um i thought you were a lesbian i assume you're a lesbian i assume you like girls because i've never heard you talk about guys okay so you guys assume that I'm a lesbian. Okay, so this one is a little more like funny to me because there has been times that I've joked and said that I don't like guys or I don't like niggas. Like I've definitely said that before. Honestly, I'm a very sarcastic person. So it's really meant to be like more of a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, I don't like niggas. Fuck these niggas, fuck niggas, get money. It's really more of that kind of thing. Am I actually a lesbian? No, I'm not actually a lesbian. I am bisexual, that is what I identify as. I like men and I like women, I like both. 
Um, yeah, but there has been times where I've joked around and said I'm a lesbian. There's been times I've gone on live with people and joked and said I'm a lesbian. I'm not actually a lesbian, I'm bisexual. People assume, someone asked me why I never have a boyfriend and that's also why somebody assumed that I was a lesbian. So boom, let's get to this why don't I ever have a boyfriend thing. So this is the thing about me. Through my whole YouTube career, here, now, in the past, when I first started, I have never put a boyfriend or anything like that up on my social media. And the reason that I do this is similar to the reason why, I mean, going forward pretty much now, I'm not even gonna post like any friends or anything like that. I don't like having people in my business. I don't like having to deal with the, the, I don't like having to deal with the questions. I don't like having to deal with the, well, what happened to this person? What happened to that person? And I've definitely said that before. So although I don't speak on my relationship business or say anything about it, that doesn't mean that I don't have relationships. So just because you guys don't see me with a guy or with a partner, it doesn't mean that I don't have a partner. I have been on YouTube however long and I've never posted anything like that. So that doesn't mean this whole time I've been single, it, it this doesn't mean that. It just means that I'm choosing to keep my relationship business private 100%. So um, that's basically like how I like to do it. I just think that saves me a lot of issues. A lot of people don't like me. So therefore me putting my personal relationship business out is not really the best idea in my eyes. Um, when, when people, even local people, when they find out that maybe I talk to somebody or I might talk to somebody or anything like that, a lot of people go out of their way to try to ruin things. So I just would prefer that to not happen. So that's why I don't bring things to YouTube. That's why I don't do couples things or anything like that. So if you guys not seeing or not hearing about a relationship to you means that I don't have one or have never had one, then hey, that's on you. But um, even if I get a boyfriend, even if I have a boyfriend right now, even if I had a boyfriend all this time, even if I had a boyfriend way back when, even if I had a girlfriend, even if I had a wife, whatever, I wouldn't be posting about it just because that's just not my thing. So yeah, it doesn't mean that I've never had one though. If that makes sense, like I could see how y'all could get that from it, but overall, I just try not to talk about relationship stuff, period. Like that's not my thing, like especially to put on the internet. It's just not my vibe. So people were saying I sleep all day and I party all night and someone else said and someone else said I assume you like to party a lot also I assume you work a regular job love you okay so um people assume that I sleep all day party all night no that's not the case um I definitely do need to work on my sleeping schedule at this point because even right now it's 1 44 a.m so it's not necessarily that i sleep all day to party all night my sleep schedule in total has just been messed up especially during this corona thing my sleep schedule has just been upside down so it's like i'll go to sleep not until the sun's coming up and then i'll wake up during the day type type thing you know what i'm saying um, I don't know if that happens to other people, but once my sleep schedule gets off, it's just off. So it doesn't matter. My sleep schedule is probably going to be like this for a while. I haven't actually partied in a while. Um, but I mean, I do like to party. I do like to have a fun time. That's definitely something I like to do. Uh, so yeah, I mean, y'all see that I like to go out. It's fun, but I haven't been going out. So it's not necessarily a necessity for me, if that makes sense. Um, I think a lot of people think that like I have to go out or like I'm all about this party life blah 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 like I do other stuff besides partying but when you live in Vegas maybe you guys are familiar and it's probably different where you guys live a lot of people like to party that is what we do for fun we don't like farm we don't have farms I'm not necessarily the type of person that wants to like go hang out at the library that's not my thing that's not me I like to go have fun I like to go party the circle of people that I hang around even outside of the circle of people I hang around a lot of the people my age that graduated in my same year we all do the same thing so it's really not just to me like it's not specific to me that I just like to party it's just that's what you do but I haven't even been partying lately and my sleep schedule is still trash. So the second part of that question was, do I work a regular job? No, I don't work a regular job. All my, everything I do is all based off hustle. So 
Um, I know a lot of people, which I'm gonna address this in another video, a lot of people were basically asking me or they were curious or wanting to know how I make a living. And I feel like I answer this question a lot. So I like, once I answer it, I usually don't keep answering it. But basically what I do for a living, I do YouTube. Even if you are not consistent on YouTube, you do still get some kind of money from other videos that you already have uploaded. I do promotions on my Instagram. So I get paid for promotions. I host parties and promote events. I get paid for that as well. So in a way, partying has definitely made me money as well. Um, I can do hair and makeup. I haven't really been doing hair and makeup nearly as much just because the dealing with customers is not really my biggest thing. I don't really like the human interaction to be so honest. Like the customer service aspect is a little difficult for me. But once again, I think that that comes from I've I've worked for myself for a long time so then when it comes to like doing customer service it's just out of my comfort zone. I think I named most of the stuff just now. I'm not really sure. Um, I just got signed to some apps so I'm getting paid for live streaming. I do have an OnlyFans that I make money off of on there as well. So I have a lot of different ways that I make money. I don't just do one thing that makes me money. I do a lot of things that make me money. Someone asked me if I date a YouTuber. They assume that I date a YouTuber. And somebody else said, I assume you and DDG had a thing. As far as me dating a YouTuber or as far as me and DDG having a thing, I'm not sure if those were both supposed to be the same question, but they didn't just want to say it or what. But me and DDG do not have a thing. Um, I don't know DDG. I don't know like any other different way to say that. I've kind of said it a few times, but I don't really know how, like, I feel like no matter what I say, people are gonna believe me. But once again, like if I don't wanna address it, I just wanna address it. I wouldn't sit up here and lie, like, come on y'all. So yeah, um, me and DDG have never met face to face. We have never talked outside of Instagram. We were on Instagram live two times, just twice. And I danced for the live, but that's it literally this is when corona quarantine was like quarantine radio when all that stuff was big yeah i danced on his live twice but that's it i don't have anything further with him and we have never met in person any other youtuber i have never talked to or messed with the youtuber at all um that's really like not my style to be honest i don't have anything against youtubers but it's just like not my thing i don't really think it has something that i would be interested in necessarily because i see how all these youtube couples be maneuvering and that's just not the way i rock to be honest um so yeah i just literally say how i don't really like having my relationship business out there so imagine me talking to a youtuber it's like inevitable like i just i just no so yeah um no i don't talk to any youtuber i've never talked to any youtuber i don't talk to ddg but he is hella cool like i fucked with him but like on that kind of level like us talking talking or in any kind of intimate setting we don't as of right now i mean if anything ever changed i'll definitely let y'all know but no we don't have nothing <laughs> So yeah, so people being fucking, <laughs> people were so curious about this shit. It's so funny. Like between DDG, between DDG, people asking me if I'm a stripper and his next thing I'm finna list off. These are the most things that he would ask me about on a daily basis. And it's so funny to me. Like, <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So let's go to the next. Let's go to the next. I assume you and Jazz started to have feelings for each other and it ended badly. So you're no longer friends. Okay, that was that was the first one. I really don't have any assumptions. Like I was just thinking what the hell happened to Jazz. I assume you and Jazz had jealousies had jealousy with your friendship, not towards each other, but about each other's friends. Possibly y'all's expectations of y'all friendship was different and it resulted in a disappointment and misunderstanding. More like me making shit up in my head because I want to know what happened. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> okay, so cool. So, I mean, 
as far as this first one people think that me and jasmine were in like some kind of lesbian relationship we weren't when i said q a or girlfriend tag it was a joke because people were asking me if that was my girlfriend as if i can't just like have regular friends so yeah it was definitely a joke when i called her my girlfriend or when i said i was her boyfriend or something like that it was a joke um we didn't we didn't stop being friends because we had feelings for each other it wasn't that <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm not trying to laugh because I don't know if y'all like y'all might be dead out serious, but it's just funny to me, like considering the fact that I haven't addressed this, it's like y'all minds are literally just wondering and like that's just funny to me. I'm sorry. No, it had nothing to do with us being jealous. It had nothing to do with any of that. I wasn't jealous of like her friendship with her friends, and she wasn't jealous of like my friendship with my with my friends, as far as I know. Um, so yeah, no, it really wasn't any of that. And honestly, on this topic, uh, okay, so it's been about a year that, that we haven't been friends, you know what I'm saying? So I've basically been paying this dust, which is why you guys just are like coming up with your own stories in your own head. So basically, I'm just going to make a separate video addressing the situation, considering that you guys are probably not going to stop asking me or like making shit up out of thin air until I say something about it. I understand that because I brought her to my channel. So now everyone is so curious about what happened because we're not friends anymore. Understandable. But I just wasn't going to let anybody rush me to talk about something or just push me to talk about something if I didn't feel the need to talk about it. Honestly, Y'all know, like, I'm a private person, so I never felt the need to speak on something. If I'm not friends with somebody no more, we're just going to move on. Like, I'm going to move on, they're going to move on. I'm not really one to, like, do the internet stuff. That's not really my thing. So, it just seems weird to, like, bring it to the internet. But at this point, that it's almost been a year, and you guys are still asking and wondering about the situation, I'm just going to dead it, and I'm just going to say the situation, like, is no fucking hard feelings at this point the shit is old the shit is dead it's gone um so it's no reason to like not talk about it i'm gonna talk about it the one time and then we're just gonna get over it <laughs> hopefully hopefully y'all can get over it like i know y'all were so fucking invested but hopefully y'all can get over it for real like seriously so look out for that video if y'all want to see like what happened what was this whole thing that happened just watch for the video this was one that I definitely, that I definitely, definitely wanted to address. Okay, I assume you are struggling with substance abuse due to depression. You smoke, you drink and smoke every day in order to cope. Okie dokie. So, I always have said this when people have brought up like my drinking problem or the fact that I drink too much or do this or abuse this. I've always brought this up. Nobody sees me every day. Until recently, as far as like the last few days, I don't get on live every day. I have never really got on live every single day. So I'm not even on, I'm not even posting myself on social media every single day. Now you guys see me often, but y'all do not see me every single day. Even if I post a video every day, that's not me every day. I can take pictures, do this, do that and just post them whenever and you could think that it's this day or whatever the case is so with that being said it usually annoys me like i mean i'm just doing this video i'm trying to like address everything so that you guys know what it is and what it ain't so i'm not like irritated or anything like that but it usually irritates me when people say you do this every day like do you do this every day or when people are like you wear makeup every day like you literally don't see me every day and and if you do you literally just see me through the phone like nobody doesn't know what i do on a daily basis so do i drink every day no i actually have been not drinking while i've been focused on other things as far as youtube and blah 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 so in reality this comment was just made yesterday that i drink every day to cope and smoke every day to cope i haven't drank anything in over a month and have said nothing about it just considering the fact that I don't think it's that big of a deal like if I was actually an alcoholic I would be like tore up right now about the fact that I haven't drank y'all have been seeing me on live the past few days the past few whatever because I'm signed to these live streaming apps so like y'all would have seen me like all fucked up like I'm not fucked up because I haven't drank I just simply 
have a drink. Um, as far as me smoking every day, I do not smoke weed. I don't smoke weed. Um, I don't even know the last time I smoked weed. It's been, I don't even know how long, to be honest. I don't smoke weed. So the whole like drinking and smoking every day thing, I really, I understand the drinking thing because I would get on live and drink and get lit and turn up, especially in the beginning of Corona when there was literally nothing else to do. I was drinking, you know, having a good time. But when I drink, it's to have a good time. I don't drink because I need to drink. I always felt like that was something that was a given. But clearly, you know, people take things very seriously. So I'm going to just let everybody know I don't have a drinking problem. But yeah, due to depression, yeah, it has nothing to do with depression or whatever. I mean, I've been having anxiety lately and it hasn't. I mean, I haven't drank anything. I haven't smoked anything. So clearly that's not my coping mechanism. What else is on here? I assume that you're low key insecure. This one was like a hand scratcher for me because I was kind of like wondering what about me gave you like insecure. And I think people think because I'm actually like a really confident person. They think that I'm just like putting on like a facade or something. I don't know. I, I'm actually, I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I know why you said that. But um, yeah, no, I'm actually not insecure to be honest. I really like don't really have too many problems. If I, if I feel like if there's something that I'm insecure about within myself, I try to change it. So then it's like, I'm not insecure about it no more. Like. If I don't like how I look, I change it. If I don't like how something is going, I'm gonna change it. Like, so then there's no reason to be insecure. Uh, but insecure is really not a word I would use to describe myself, honestly. Like that, probably out of all this, that was the most surprising one that I saw, like that I'm insecure. I think I'm secure in myself and I'm confident. I think that those are two words I would use to describe myself. Secure and confident, to be honest. It is not a front, in case y'all was wondering. I assume you maybe have a short temper slash get annoyed easily. And then someone else said that they assume that I fight a lot. So I kind of felt like those were like going hand in hand type of thing. Do I have a short temper now? Or I would definitely agree with the fact that I do get annoyed easily. Uh, it's easy to annoy me like I'm definitely working on my patience like that's been something I've been working on to not get so annoyed because I feel like that will help me in the long run with the things that I do because I have to deal with people. That's also something that contributes to my anxiety like I feel like dealing with too many people it like makes me anxious and then I start getting like my fuse gets shorter like the more people I have to deal with so it's like deal with people I get irritated I get frustrated and then little things will start to make me like pop off or blow up or whatever the case is but over the years over time the older I've gotten my patience has actually gotten a lot better because I used to be ranting and raving and all that and like getting annoyed at a snap of a finger but to get mad I mean you really gotta know me to get me mad this internet and stuff like that it really doesn't get me mad but people that I know personally they can make me mad but the ir the internet irritates me as far as fighting a lot I don't fight a lot um I, I definitely don't think I don't consider myself to fight a lot now if you're somebody that never fought in your life then yeah I might fight a lot but I mean I've been in a couple fights for sure like most of the fights I've been in or altercations I've been in I've told the story either on YouTube or I've told the story on Instagram so you guys pretty much know about all the fights I've got in to me that's not a lot I haven't gotten in enough fights to take up two hands so like less than 10 fights I'm 24 years old I don't think that that's a lot um, so yeah, because just because I get mad or irritated, it doesn't necessarily mean that my go-to is to put my hands on you. I'm even getting better and better with that. All of the fights I've gotten into, somebody put their hands on me first. If it was an actual fight. Now, altercation is different, but most of the fights I've gotten into, all the fights I've gotten into, somebody put their hands on me first. So if you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. But as far as just running up on somebody and swinging on them, that's really usually not my thing, to be honest. I assume that you don't like when supporters come up to you. Um, no, that's definitely not the case. Like my problem is, I don't think I'm good when supporters come up to me, but it's more so like, I don't know what to say. It's not like that I don't want supporters to come up to me or anything like that. It's usually, I just don't know what to say. And also like, sometimes I feel awkward if people are like, I don't know like I, I like to keep things like really casual like really chill I usually don't make it into like a big deal like 
Um, but if somebody wants to take pictures or do whatever, like we could definitely do that. Or we could just sit and have a regular conversation. But usually I just make it short like, hi, nice to meet you. And then I just keep it pushing. I really don't mind when people come up to me at all. A lot of people tell me I look mean. But like once you, if you could get past that and just walk up to me, you'll see that I'm like a really chill person. People walked up to me, said stuff to me. They send me out doing this or that. And they speak to me all the time. So yeah, what else? what else there was a lot of positive assumptions in here too like they assume i'm in love they assume that i'm gonna help my mom with a restaurant they assume that my makeup career is gonna take off like that i'm doing music and i'm gonna take off with that like there's a lot of positive stuff in here too i'm really just i'm really just addressing the things that were asked multiple times or more than once or that people ask me all the time so this girl said that on lipstick alley they said i became an escort so that was her like assumption that she wanted me to address so hey lipstick alley um so i don't know where this whole i assume that the 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 stripper thing cool like i i can see why y'all say i'm a stripper because i'll be dancing i'll be throwing ass showing the ass period and motherfuckers be throwing ones and i'm picking them up but the whole like you're i'm an escort thing <laughs> i am not an escort so let's go ahead and say that so i actually took a look at this like myself and um i would really love to see some receipts because people were saying that i'm an escort it wasn't even like they were saying they assumed i'm an escort they were saying like this is cold hard facts this bitch no i'm not an escort i don't really know what a the the most thing to say about that is what gives y'all the impression that i'm an escort i don't even know why people assume that i don't even get that I, the the most the closest thing that i saw on these posts to say that i was an escort was that i'd be in hotels and casinos if you live in vegas or if you've ever been to vegas all the clubs are in hotels all of them so yes when i am going to the club i'm gonna be in the whole like like if i'm going to the club i'm being a casino that's like a no doubt so yeah like y'all said i party all the time right and all i do is party so yes i be in casinos all the time as far as hotels when i travel to different places or even here like people get hotel rooms like if i travel somewhere i have to stay in a hotel so that's what i'm doing it has nothing to do with escorting at all like it literally has nothing to do with escorting period so um hopefully we could did that even though i feel like people that say that kind of stuff like they're gonna say it regardless of if i sit here and tell them that i'm not an escort they're still gonna feel the way that they feel so it's cool honestly um okay so one of the last things and I, i've already addressed this in the q a but it's kind of old now so i'm just gonna address it now somebody says sis let us know if you had a bbl if not would you ever get it done somebody assumed that they said your butt was fake but boy i was wrong somebody said that they assume i got lipo i assume you want to get a bbl done so and also when i was on lipstick alley like a bunch of people were talking about this too which i find really weird because i literally sat in a similar situation on youtube and i did a q a and i'll link the q a down below in the description box i have already gotten surgery done i got surgery done in 2016 it is 2020 so this is four years ago guys after i got my surgery done i posted that q a and i talked about it briefly in the q a I mean, I don't know. Is there anything else to say with that? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's basically that. But as you guys see, I didn't go and like get no like crazy ass booty or anything like that. That wasn't the point. Like that was never my point of like going to get surgery. If you guys know how I was shaped before, it just wasn't a shape to my desire. So I went and got shaped closer to my desire. But I mean, my weight loss, weight gain journey has not stopped there. Um, even after the fact, I lost a ton of weight. Um, and then now I'm gaining weight again. Like, it's not a secret. I just didn't do, go through the process on YouTube. I don't have a problem with any of that stuff. I would think that y'all would know that I'm hella pro-surgery. Like, I'm trying to get everything out so that at least nobody could say 
that they're speaking facts or that they don't know or they didn't know like i'm literally trying to address everything so that people will just know or if people don't know i'm gonna just direct them to this video honestly like it should be nothing left unsaid after this oh well uh, nah, it's gonna be a few things left unsaid i assume you have problems trusting people men and women um i do have problems trusting people to be honest i really don't trust men at all that's a big problem that i've been working on that's why i've been going through like showing you guys my stuff with like my dad and all that because that's basically the root of where my male issues come from. That's why I don't trust no men. That's why I've always been like, you know, fuck niggas, get money, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, me not trusting women. Overall, like, I would say I have just grown to not trust people because it's just like you'll see how they do you in the end. Like, although I do things and I make mistakes, I'm big on loyalty as far as, like, um like you got my back i got your back like right wrong or indifferent like you got my back i got your back so it's like when you see people do things and do do you in ways that you wouldn't do them and just you know move really weird based on like dumb things it's like you slowly but surely start to not trust people i actually still do have like more trust than other people tell me to have because i even got people in my life that tell me like you need to be careful with who you trust. You need to be careful with blah, blah, blah. But it's just like, I'm trying to learn to be more open because who want to go through their whole life not like you walking on eggshells around people because you don't know if you can trust them. And I'm always looking over my shoulder like, who want to live like that? That sucks. Honestly, if anything, I've been trying to open myself up more so that I don't have the same issues that I got now. So then I can allow more people in. And it's like, if it ain't a blessing, it's a lesson. Like, if motherfuckers do some shit, if it's not, like, physically harming me or something like that, then it's, like, whatever. Like, I'm gonna let it roll off my back. Like, it's not that big of a deal. But I am working on my trust issues for sure, especially my male trust issues. But overall, I'm working on people trust issues. I definitely am. Somebody said they assume I lost my virginity at a young age. And I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like... <laughs> I'm so sorry. Some of these things is like most of them. I was like, okay, it's cool. I'm gonna just address everything. But some shit is like, why would you even be fucking worried about that? But anyway, we gonna call that the end of the video. My camera is on low battery, so I think that's a good place to wrap it up. Hopefully, this clears up anything that y'all wasn't clear about. I mean, I posted on my Instagram, I posted on my YouTube, so I feel like it was pretty fair game for people to ask questions. I even allowed y'all to ask questions anonymously if y'all wanted to. So. I feel like it was pretty fair. I feel like I answered everything. First of all, or let me just say again, I answered all these questions 100% honestly. If I didn't want to answer them honestly, I simply wouldn't be addressing it. So yeah, if y'all hear anything else other than the answers I'm telling you right here, if y'all choose to believe it, then it's just on y'all to be honest. But um, yeah, the only other thing I want to say is based on the whole like, people pointing me to the direction of like what's written about me on lipstick alley i'm just gonna make a whole separate video about lipstick alley and i'm just gonna address all that shit separately honestly because according to lipstick alley i don't know who i am <laughs> so yeah shout out to the bitches that be writing about me on lipstick alley yeah that's basically it uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you stream my song wtfgo that is my first song that's it if you if you don't know now you know nigga <laughs>